Hello everyone, this is Ramesa and this is the very first series of our building series and today we are diving into how you can build a sleek onboarding experience for your project in DraftBit. Although now it's just a food app, you can apply and customize it according to your project's concept. Here we have the design in Figma for our onboarding screens that we are going to create. We want to highlight some important features in each screen. From this design, you can think it as if it has four different screens, which you can do for sure, but we will use the swiper component in DraftBit to create this design in just one screen. Let's go to the builder now. In this tutorial, we are simply creating a UI. No backend data will be used. So we will mainly be working on styles tab. DraftBit follows Flexbox principles for layouts, which means we can easily align and distribute space among items in a view, even when their size is unknown. It's super flexible and perfect for responsive design. Now on the screen, I will first drop the star of today's tutorial, the swiper component. It's super handy for onboarding screens because it lets users swipe through as if they swipe between different screens. Now, since I want swiper component to fill the available space in the screen, I will set the flex as one and also in our screen design we have two sections the top section includes an image that has slight elevated effect and at the bottom part we have some text so under swiper item i will add two view components And now I want these view components to share the screen equally. So I will go and set the flex of each view component as one. Actually, flex value simply determines how much space each item takes relative to the others. Different flex values mean items share space based on their flex value proportions. Let's color these view components and see. So since I use the same flex value for the view components, they share the space equally. Now I'm going to remove the background color for those. Let's move on to the design of the content. In the top section, I'll add a surface component. So in the first view, I'm adding a surface component to give our images a slight shadow, creating a layered effect. And also let's drag an image component underneath. I'll just go to the surface component and set the width as 70% and height as 100%. And for the image, I want to cover the surface component completely. We can just go to the view component, align the components in a center, and we need some space from the top. We may just go to the swiper component and set some margin, or you can basically set margin to the view component as well. Since we want the image to have rounded corners, we just select the image component and go to the related section, the borders, and set the radius, let's say, as 12. 
but also we need to set the surface components radius as 12 as well and we go back to image component and let's set the overflow as hidden if we want to give a shadow like appearance you can go to the config tab of the surface component and the shadow will be more precise if you change the elevation from here and let's change the image component now let's preview you can see that the shadow is more precise in this case so in the second part we will place another view component underneath and also add some text components so let's change the parent view components color we're going to use the pretty fine colors and also let's give some padding and also margin from the top and now let's make those corners rounded oh not all of them sorry we just want left and right corners to be rounded. There you go. And for the nested view component, let's give a height of 70. And justify the content like this and maybe center them and the first text will be a catch a headline in this case get inspiration and we're going to choose the title style sheet for it so this title style sheet is a style sheet that I've created earlier for the titles you can create one for the second text component we're going to just write a brief explanation of the feature let's get them centered oh not here sorry from the typography for the text okay so this is our first onboarding screen now we're going to duplicate the swiper item for the rest of our onboarding screens and just change the text and image assets going to the image So we're almost finished just that maybe you have realized that uh, we have the skip button on the top but we're not going to use it in our design instead I'm planning to put a button on the last screen let's add that one We can just say get started and choose an icon like an arrow. The arrow would be fine. And we can now select the icon position. I will change it as right and background of the button as a custom color that I defined before and 
the text color as medium let's take a look at how it looks like so that's pretty much it let's see it in is preview as well With Draftbit's powerful swiper component, you can create onboarding screens easily. See you in the next video where we will be creating sign up and login screens and integrate the backend for authentication. Happy building!